Inspire for Purpose. I'm your host, Sandra the Actionist. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the seven P's of spiritual victory. And this is coming from thegarmentsofsplendor.com. I thought it was very interesting and I wanted to share it with you. The first P is pray about your problem. Oftentimes, we always seek other people's opinions about how we should handle our problems and how we should get answers. And we'll seek, you know, our sisters, our brothers, our friends, colleagues to get an answer. When the first thing that we really should do is seek God. In Matthew 6 and 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added unto you. So if we seek God first and about praying about our problems, I'm pretty sure we're going to find an answer. The second P is proclaim the truth of who God is. Once you know who God is, it's very simple to proclaim the truth about who he is. And we as a people, we as mankind need to do that more frequently because everyone needs to know the unadulterated truth about who God is and that his word is the absolute truth for our lives and in our lives. The third P is about gaining perspective from God's word. Don't take your own thoughts about it, but seek the Holy Spirit to see what he has to say to you regarding perspective. We oftentimes know that perspective can change many things in a person's life. And if you have the wrong perspective, well, it's just going to lead you down a negative road. But if you have the godly perspective, then you shall never, ever go wrong. The fourth P is to ponder the promises of God. As I was learning the Bible, a way that I was taught to remember it was to picture, ponder, and pray. It was really for me to picture what I was reading, trying to see what was actually happening during that era of time. And then it was to ponder it, to really think about it, to really interact with God, to see what he was trying to speak to me or say to me or get me to understand. And then just like our first priest, Uh, first piece said was to pray. I would pray about it for the understanding, the wisdom, and the knowledge of what I had just read. And as I continued to do this day after day and time after time, I was able to understand the word of God. There's still much that I don't know. There's still mysteries to be learned, but I am learning each and every day. The fifth P is to praise the Lord at all times. And as we know, when we praise God, so many great things happen for us, but also for God, because he will bless us with his mighty hand, which is a great thing. So we can all receive the blessings of the Lord when we praise him. It lifts our spirit. It lifts our mood. It's just like exercise. It actually stimulates those endorphins to make you feel good inside and to remove all the negativity, all the depression, all of the things that's going wrong in your life. The sixth P is to receive provision from the Lord. After you've prayed and you've done all these other P's, it's just time to sit back to receive the provision which he has promised to provide for us. And he's done it time after time. He did it when he was leading the Israelites through the wilderness. He provided manna from heaven, which was angel's food. Can you believe that? Like men and women were eating angel's food. That's pretty cool. But he provided for them. Not only that, but during the nighttime, there was a cloud of fire that led them. And in the daytime, there was a cloud of shade that kept them cool. So that was pretty awesome. And then the seventh and final P is to enjoy the peace of God. We know that it says in God's words that, And give us the peace that surpasses all understanding. And we want that. When you can have a peace about every and anything in life with the chaos that's going on, you can truly rest in God. People will wonder and think like, hey, what's wrong with you? But you will know that God is on your side and that he is for you and not against you. And so you will be able to sleep at night, his beloved, and you will be able to rest in the peace of God. I pray that you've enjoyed this timely tune up. Please share it with friends and family. Have them subscribe to the channel. You've been on with Sandra the Actionist with Inspire for Purpose. Thank you. God bless and love and light.